at Europe Spaceport in Kourou. The new EDRSC satellite is undergoing final preparations before its launch. An Ariane 5 will lift the satellite into geostationary orbit, where it will join EDRSA, which was launched in 2016 as a hosted payload on UTELSAT 9B as part of the European Data Relay System. The European Data Relay System is a collaboration between ESA and Airbus Defence and Space, aiming to improve and accelerate data transmission from low Earth orbiting satellites to the ground. From their geostationary orbit, EDRS satellites can both see the low orbiting imaging satellite as well as the ground stations. Data from the imaging satellite is sent via a laser link to EDRS, which then transmits data via radio frequency to the ground stations. This process allows for longer and faster data transfers, creating the space data highway. EDRS is called a space data highway because it's likened to an optical fiber in the sky. It's a highway through which data travels at enormous speeds. In the case of EDRS, at up to 1.8 gigabits per second. And if you compare this to a conventional internet connection at home, you can say that it's about 100 times the speed that you get with your internet connection when you surf at home. So that's a real highway for data in space. The main features of EDRS are a high transfer rate achieved by the use of laser technology and a near permanent availability, a result of the satellite's bird's eye view from geostationary orbit. This results in a quasi real-time availability of the data on the ground, a step forward from conventional systems that only allow data transfers for 10 out of every 90 minutes. EDRS is the first commercial system in the world to use optical communication between satellites. While the system has been jointly developed by ESA and Airbus, it is the latter who will operate the service. The launch of today's EDRSC satellite is a fantastic opportunity for enhancing our space data highway system. With space data highway, Airbus is the first connectivity operator of laser communication services. Already today, space data highway links all the four Copernicus satellites near real time to the Earth and it will allow with the second satellite to have near real time data of two Earth observation satellites at the same time. A fantastic innovation. Also, it will be of course a backup of the first satellite in case we have a problem. EDRSC is the first dedicated EDRS satellite. It will provide additional capacity to the European Data Relay System but also improve its robustness and further increase coverage. Once both nodes are fully operational, EDRS will be able to relay at least 50 terabytes of data every day. Today, ESA and Airbus are already working on a third node, EDRS-D, which will be positioned over the Asia-Pacific region and mark another step towards worldwide use of this breakthrough technology. The ultimate goal will, of course, be to achieve global coverage so that we can transmit imagery that is taken anywhere in the world to Europe within quasi real time, meaning almost immediately. And there is a great future in using EDRS with our new Pleiad NEO satellites, 30 centimeter resolution coming soon. From 2021 onwards, we will be providing you with more high resolution, near real time data for Earth observation applications. And I'm very proud of that. With higher resolutions and better imaging techniques, the amount of data provided by low Earth orbiting satellites will only increase further in years to come. Therefore, both ESA and Airbus are convinced that optical communication in space is a key technology, allowing us to fully exploit these vast amounts of data. EDRS is the beginning of a new era in space-based telecommunications, and the launch of EDRS-C is another step towards the completion of the Space Data Highway.